You know more about these VFC guns than most of us because you're the one that still runs one. You guys know, like that the entire video? VFC of Thrones, bro. <laughs> Afternoon, everybody. On Tactical Tuesday, this is Anthony from Amped Airsoft, and I got my battle buddy, Saffron. And today we're going to talk about the brand new VFC guns that just came in. VR16 line. The VR16 line. So, what we have over here is we have Saffron's actual VR, uh, VFC. VFI, actually. VFI, way back in the day. And so... If you guys are used to seeing the old school VFCs, you're used to a certain level of quality. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how the new VFCs are nicer. Sorry. They've gone up a step. <laughs> so first of all, um, the E-Series is no more. They do not call them the E-Series anymore. They've now taken all of their non-trademarked and non-licensed rifles and turned them all into the VR series. So. Um, what you're going to get across the board with the VR series is you're going to get a really standardized, high quality gearbox. You're going to get a brand new rotary style hop up. Super sweet. I do very enjoy nice, that. Yeah. Very, very Good nice. Good move there. Good move there. As well as a whole slew of new external builds. A whole new. So, what we're going to do is we have a few of our favorites sitting out in front of us. So, we're just going to go through them. So, starting off at the lower end of the price spectrum, we're going to have. We'll trade out for this Knight's Arm one real quick. Starting off at the lower end of the price spectrum on all these guns, um, you're going to get your M4, your Commando, and your M16 variants. I don't know if it's even called the Commando anymore. They've changed all the names, They changed too. all the names, too. I call it a Commando because that's what it's, it's, it's what the it's original CQB, model was. It's CQBR, my bad. Um, they have a new finish on all the receivers. Um, new rotary-style hop-up. Bolt release still works. All that good stuff. And they use a, a nicer, a much nicer quality nylon fiber for their plastic parts. So coming in at the lower end of the price spectrum, you're going to get your polymer hand guards and your collapsing LE stocks. So there's that. What do you want to go to next? Um, we're going to go with this guy. This guy over here. Moving up in price bracket, what starts to happen is you start getting collapsible crane stocks. You get flip up, back up iron sights. Most of the guns that have rails also come with a... Uh, set of rail covers which is pretty cool they're really milking the night style stuff yeah almost all hard. the stuff with rails has night style rails so this is a night style we can't call night it a night style. Yeah. style night style urx rail uh crane stock wired to the rear um some of them come with uh extended handle charging handles like what come on the uh, m27 iar which they also produce for umarex which is mm -hmm. cool um moving on from there We have the extended URX rails, super nice. Also has the extended charging handle, flip up sights. Um, oh, fun fact, all these come with mid caps. Yeah, actually they should. I'm very pro that, I'm very pro that. I, I think it's better that way, personally. Personally, I- Personally, I mean, if you're getting to a gun like these, it's you're most likely gonna want a mid cap anyways, let's be honest. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Um, so, URX style rails that are extended, super nice. We also have the brand new low profile style Knights rails. These have come with slots that you can attach additional rail segments to, though they do not come with additional rails. Which I, I they did. Do they? And we'd have to dig the box out. I'm pretty sure they're listed online as they come with a rail. We're going to check on that for you. Watch, yeah, we'll, watch for the annotations. We'll annotate that because <laughs> we weren't prepared. Um, also an interesting one about this guy is uh no no forward assist and no shell deflector like on a typical AR-15. Very, very interesting move. Very interesting. Um, very nice. Comes with a. I like this set of uh, flip up sights myself. Personally. Yeah, they're they're very nice. The 600 meter type type sights in this flip sight. I really like this. Um, one of the highest end, the most expensive ones in the list, is what I like to call the Mackie Mac Special. Ah, uh, the Mackie Mac. This is your lone survivor SPR. Is it um, fixing for a fight? It's fixing. It's fixing <laughs> real good. Um, it comes with a collapsible stock, which is still nice. Uh, flip up iron sights, rail covers, the extended, the long URX style rail, as well as a 
18 inch barrel, which I like a lot with this unique flash hider. Uh, interesting thing with most of these is they will, VFC is really great about sending you the- uh, The flash what, hiders. Yeah. For this poor guy, they did not include that. That's no, you get your permanently orange tipped flash hider. Yeah, so you'll have to search for those SPR style ones. So overall, all of these guns have a few features in common. They all have the new type of receivers that are all anodized a different Feature way. Feature a different logo too. They have a different logo. They, they have um, rotary style hop hooks, which I'm pro about. I'm mm -hmm. very pro about. They're nice. They're just nice all the way across the board. I think they're like one of the best. To me, they're one of my favorite external quality M4s on the market. Fun fact, uh, VFC externals also fit Crytac externals. So if you bought a Shrike, you could put this on a, uh, you could swap lowers if you wanted to, if you had a VFC. Fun, uh, fun, yeah, definitely fun fact there. So you do get a lot of build potential out of a Crytac lot, now. A lot of build potential out of Crytac, VFC. Um, you can also, very easy to uh, put Polar Stars in because the original PR-15 bodies were all VFC OEM. Mm -hmm. So very easy to Polar Star. Uh, overall, I am a big fan. Um, as I am not allowed to really rate this, you have owned VFCs for years. I've actually run my beat up old VFC for about three years now. Has We've had one gearbox failure and that was a trigger post, which out of three years out of an AEG, could you really ask for much more? No. Not really. So me personally, I would only rate the externals personally um, because that's all I've ever used. I think these have the most gorgeous externals ever. Yeah, these are, I mean, these are just, they're just sexy looking. But what would you rate a VFC AEG if you were to keep it as an AEG? If you're gonna keep it as an AEG, which actually VFC has a, they have a philosophy about changing their internals. They like to keep them exactly how they are. Um, as long as you run this thing fairly stock, I mean, you can upgrade it, upgrade anything you want to your heart. VFC compatible, or, I mean, yeah. uh, Tokyo Murray compatible, so everything. Very close to one-to-one -to -one Tokyo Murray spec. You know, I'd give this, I'd give it a solid eight out of out of anything. These gearboxes are also lipo ready. Skip the uh, skip the standard butterfly. You get a seven four. Uh, you get a seven lipo, four. Yeah, get a seven four. And go to town on these things. They're not going to disappoint you. So I think they're gorgeous. I mean, I usually build things for HBA guns, so that's my thing. Is I like I, I pay attention to externals first before I pay attention to internals on AGs. But they're gorgeous. I like them. A lot of different options. Now, well, yeah, we're gonna put them all up on our site as different builds for HBA guns as well as the AGs as well. So keep an eye out for that. The new site's gonna be launching pretty soon, so that's gonna be cool. You're gonna see them all there. Soon, TM. Soon, trademark. <laughs> um, so yeah, I like them. You like them? I like them. I'm a little like jealous it. of this new engraved receiver, especially. That's right? very nice. I like the Mackie. The mock. I like the Mackie Mac special. You know, you're fixing for a fight there, buddy. I'm fixing for it. So, so pretty. All right, so this has been Anthony and Saffron from Amped Airsoft. Check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Vine. Vine, we did a Vine today. There's a Vine video out, check it out. We're on Vine now. Expect shenanigans. <laughs> Much so, shenanigans. So, all right, guys, talk to you later. Have a good one. than science. <laughs>Yours, yours never stays straight. I have a goofy head. I gotta, sh I gotta sit like Sean Bean then. I gotta have my sword, and then just be like this. And brood. Am I brooding enough? <laughs> brooding. <laughs> Some Game of Thrones looking stuff. That's what he just said. <laughs> Keep up, Matt. Come on. Right. Come on. <laughs>